Hello guys, welcome back. This is the part 15 of JWT authentication. In this tutorial, we are going to implement refresh token. So let's get started. Go to app user model and add here refresh token and add another property date time refresh token expiry time. Let's add migration. Go to API and run migration.net af migration add refresh token intro our migration edit let's go to migration folder and let's see refresh token here we can see we have added two column here refresh token and refresh token expiry time here let's close it and let's update our database Our database updated. Let's see our database. Control C P and open database of TV here. Let's open this table. Let's close it. We can see here refresh token, which is by default null and refresh expiry refresh token expiry time. Two column added here so let's close it go to account controller and here let's go to login in point here let's generate refresh token And let's create this method here. Let's send it the first token here. Private string. Send it the first token. A random number. New new by two. And here using a random number generator. Random number generator. Dot dot create and random number generator dot get bytes random number and let's return converted random number here let's add in dot parse try parse configuration dot get section section name jwt setting dot get section press to com validity in go to app setting json and add here refresh token validity in 10 minute let's go to account controller and here remove this one and dot value out integer refresh token validity in and let's it user user dot refresh token is equal to refresh token and another one let's update user dot refresh token expiry time with date time dot now utc now dot eight minutes refresh token validity in and let's update user here user manager dot update async let's pass user here and let's go to auth response tto and add here property string refresh token string dot empty and pass a refresh token refresh token let's run our application and test dot net was run let's go to login and try it out take a look we have token and refresh token here let's go to our database and let's see open database and here let's click this one and let's go to here we have refresh token and our refresh token expired time updated so we have now let's implement refresh token endpoint here let's copy this one 
and paste here name this refresh token and here refresh token to continue let's create to continue first let's create new class to continue add here a string refresh token Let's duplicate it and make it token. This one let's add email. Add here add now. Save it. Let's remove these things and here for principal get principal from expired token. Token detail, make it token detail in class here with dot token. Let's implement this method control dot generate method private. Let's add here claims principal and here var token parameter new to new token valid parameter and let's pass a valid audience valid issuer. False valid validate is your sign in key true is your sign in key. Let's go to program CS and copy these things and paste here is your sign in key is called to paste here add here configuration dot get section secret key ct setting dot get section and our section name secret key dot validate lifetime false let's make here validate audience and validate user bar token handler new ct secret token handler bar principal token handler dot validate token let's validate our token here this pass token and token validate parameters and token parameters how security token security token here let's check if security token is null is not jwt security token jwt security token or jwt security token dot headers dot algorithm alg equals security algorithm security algorithm dot is mac 256 or string compare string comparison dot invariant invariant also ignore case then throw new security token exception and pass it invalid token otherwise return principal from here so this code verifies if the security token is a jw2 token with its mac256 algorithm if not it throw a security it throw a security exception indicating the token is invalid and finally it return the principal let's go to reference token let's make it principal and here our user let's get user by email user manager dot find by email async and token detail dot email let's check if principal is null or user is null or user dot refresh token is not equal to one dot refresh token refresh token or user refresh token expiry time dot now dot utc now if all this condition satisfied then return that request and pass a new auth response detail object success false message invalid client request just create new token here new ct token generate token and pass a user for let's generate a new refresh token generate refresh token and go to login and let's 
copy this one and let's update user refresh token new refresh token update here user dot refresh token expiry time dot utc now dot eight minute refresh token validity in and let's update user away user manager dot update async user here and finally return ok and new auth response did you is success true token new token and refresh token new refresh token message refresh token successfully let's go to program cs and here add clock skew plus skew time span 0 save it and go to app setting session and here let's make it 2 for now and let's make it 3 let's save our code and go to browser let's log in our application execute it and we have refresh token and token here let's copy this token and go to refresh token let's pass this token here and email and pass this refresh token let's execute it we have 200 success and new token here and refresh token here we have invalid client request because our token is not expired yet so we have bad request 400 let's implement refresh token in client project so go to auth service close it and let's go to down let's duplicate it and refresh here data of type email string token string and refresh tokens make it post and auth response auth response let's remove this array let's add here refresh token and pass data here save it and close it go to auth, auth interceptor user key let's rename this app2 and user key user here response let's add here json dot stringify and pass response here and let's go to let's comment it remove this one constant user local storage dot get item this dot user key if we don't have user let's return null otherwise constant user detail user detail of type auth response let's pass our user json json dot pass user here and return user detail dot refresh token go to auth response and add here refresh token of type string save it now go to token interceptor and let's make another method here get refresh token let's make it token and here refresh token 5 cache error here error of type http error response let's check if error dot status is 401 then let's then let's call our auth service dot refresh token and pass here email auth service dot get user detail dot email and token get token from auth service and refresh token 
get refresh token from auth service or null dot subscribe next goes to if response dot is success then let's set our item in local storage user and json dot stringify response here and let's clone our header request dot clone and set headers authorization and here pair response dot token here and let's map error of type error error goes to if we have error then auth service dot logout and navigate to login router let's inject here router and navigate to login page router dot navigate to login here save it finally and return here through through error, error here. let's go to generate token method and for testing purpose let's add here at minute one and go to auth service let's return true here let's return here true and say go to browser and login application open console let's go to network tab go to view profile and do our our network tab our refresh token api in point hit and we have response refresh token successfully face so add here location dot reload after successful response then reload our location